Hello, I am Dr. Kathy Koulis, Medical Director for the Pediatric Hospital Medicine Program at St. Cloud Hospital. I would like to welcome you to St. Cloud Hospital Pediatrics Unit. We are the only dedicated inpatient pediatric unit in Central Minnesota, where we take care of kids all day, every day. This experience and expertise allow us to provide excellent care for your child. To keep your child safe, Pediatrics is a locked unit. All guests must know the first and last name of the patient they are visiting. All guests age 16 and older will need to show a photo ID and complete a brief health screening to check in at the pediatric welcome desk. The visitor will be given a badge with the room number and will be asked to wear this during their visit. The welcome desk is staffed from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. If you are entering outside of the staffed welcome desk hours, please use the phone provided at the entrance to alert staff of your arrival. In order to exit the unit when the welcome center is closed, please ask any staff member on the unit for assistance. Parents and caregivers may visit any time and stay overnight. Children younger than age 18 are not allowed to spend the night without adult supervision. Safety is one of our top priorities. All pediatric patients will have a security transmitter placed on their arm or leg. We will take a security photo to place in your child's medical record as a precaution. For your child's safety, only legal guardians or a designee and or staff members with a pink stripe on the top of their badge may transport infants and children under age 13 off the pediatric unit. We respect your family's and child's need for privacy. If you wish, the door may be closed and the curtain pulled so that we can discuss information privately. Please speak up if you have questions or concerns about your child or the care your child is receiving. If you don't understand or don't remember, we want you to speak up. The more informed and knowledgeable you are, the more comfortable you will be. At each shift change, your nurse and the oncoming nurse will do bedside report in your child's room to make introductions, ensure patient safety, and promote good communication. You are welcome and encouraged to participate. A member of your child's care team will be checking on you frequently to make sure your needs are met and to monitor your child's progress. Please speak up if you need anything or if you have a question. Your nurse and team members will inform you of the specific care that will be provided for your child by utilizing the My Care Board on the wall in your child's room. This board allows us to focus on your child's individual needs. We will do this by updating it with each bedside report and as needed. We want to ensure that you know the name of each of your child's team members, including your doctor for the day. Caregivers are encouraged to write questions on the care board for your child's provider. Hand washing is one of the single most important things you can do to help stop the spread of infection. Please use hand sanitizer when entering and exiting your child's room. Please wash your hands after changing diapers or assisting your child to the bathroom. And please speak up if you see staff members not performing hand hygiene. If you feel that your child's condition is worsening or something is not right and your healthcare team is not recognizing your concerns, ask your nurse to activate a children's acute response team. This team includes your nurse, the charge nurse, and a respiratory therapist. They will be at your bedside within minutes to assess your child's condition. Dining on call is available between 7 o'clock a.m. and 6.30 p.m. A child-friendly menu is available to meet your child's nutritional needs. Some foods may need to be substituted based on your child's doctor's order. The catering team can assist you in making appropriate meal choices. A guest tray is available for purchase for caregivers. Please ask your child's nurse or catering team for details. We will partner with you to keep your child's pain at a minimum. A child life specialist is available weekdays on the unit to provide preparation, education, distraction, and support during tests and procedures. Mild sedation may also help with pain control when placing IVs or drawing blood. Some children may be able to use our playroom, while others may be unable to leave their room.
If your child should need an IV during their stay, your bedside nurse will contact the Vascular Access Team. This is a specially trained group of nurses that have expertise in starting patient IVs. The Vascular Access Nurse will work with your child's bedside nurse to make sure your child is as comfortable as possible when having the IV placed. Each weekday morning, the multidisciplinary team will meet outside your door for huddle. We encourage you to participate, to get daily report, review the goals for the day, and discuss discharge planning with our team. This way, we are all able to hear the same plan and share the common goal of getting your child back home as soon as possible. Another way to stay involved in your child's plan of care is the use of MyChart, a secure online tool connecting patients to their medical records. It can be used to request appointments or view test results, medications, or immunizations. Ask us about more information on signing up for MyChart. Our goal is to provide you with an exceptional patient experience. Once discharged, you may receive a patient satisfaction survey by email or mail. We encourage you to give us your honest response and value your feedback as it helps us to improve our care. If you feel someone has done an exceptional job, ask us for a Mission Matters or Nurse of the Year form to complete. Please know that if your child needs further care, CentraCare offers a full range of pediatric specialty care right here in central Minnesota. Thank you for the privilege of caring for your child.